Something new has been discovered by astronomers, something that ought not to exist. A vibrant green comet skimming along a perfectly level path through the outermost part of Earth's vicinity. Some scientists whisper that it might be the body of a giant, a surviving shard up to a hundred times larger than the one shattered long ago. It first appeared on September 11th, 2025, when NASA's SOHO spacecraft locked onto an extraordinary event. The Swan camera captured what looked like a ghost streaking through the black a brilliant emerald light against the void. However, what silenced mission control wasn't its color. It was where it came from. The comet, officially known as SEAM 2025R to SWAN, does not obey the rules. Before we dive further, if you enjoy deciphering mysteries written across the stars, make sure to subscribe and keep up with us because it's possible that the future will change everything we know about our solar system. Comets from the Oort cloud usually dive toward the sun from any angle imaginable, free and unpredictable, plunging through space like wanderers of the cosmos. But Swan glides differently, almost perfectly, just 4.5 off the solar plane, as though it were born alongside the planets themselves. That's like finding a polar bear strolling peacefully across a desert. Something powerful, something massive must have dragged it into position. And if that's true, it suggests a distant history, stranger and older than we can comprehend. Scientists are beginning to suspect that this isn't a comet at all, at least not in the traditional sense. It might be a fragment, torn from an ancient, mighty structure that once ruled the skies. A massive comet that disintegrated into the night, scattering its bones across time. Earth is approaching a crossroads. On October 6th, our planet will slide directly through Swan's orbital path. If any remnants remain, tiny pieces of its parent body, ice fragments, invisible dust, they will meet us at cosmic speed. Amateur astronomers are preparing their cameras, hoping for new meteors to streak through the night. Professionals are calibrating their telescopes, searching for fragments that may trail behind like breadcrumbs. Even the James Webb Space Telescope has shifted its priorities, all eyes fixed on this intruder. It's not just curiosity that drives them. It's the awareness that this comet might rewrite the story of how giants seeded the inner solar system with wanderers. As WAN's root is wrong, its shine is to fresh, its silence to quiet. Its equator doesn't make sense, only 4.5 of inclination, nearly in perfect alignment with a planetary plane. The Oort cloud does not produce such precision. Its chemistry is equally strange, releasing diatomic carbon and carbon dioxide from its sunlit, frozen core. That color isn't just beautiful, it's a sign of newness. Fresh ice, untouched for millennia, exposed for the first time to radiation and warmth. On October 20th, astronomically, SWAN will pass within 0.26 astronomical units as close as Venus. Safe for us, but close enough for revelation. Yet October 6th remains the moment to watch, when we pass through its plane, through a veil of an ancient catastrophe made invisible by time. The chances of such an orbit forming naturally are almost zero. It had to be forced by something. Perhaps Jupiter, the giant whose gravity could capture comets, alter their paths, or even tear them apart. But what if SWAN's parent body escaped capture? When scientists speak of something being a hundred times larger, the implications divide into directions. In one sense, it could mean four or five times wider than SWAN reasonable and consistent with physics. But if taken literally by diameter, it would suggest something monstrous, perhaps to 100 kilometers wide, a world-sized object drifting with a comet's heart. If that's true, we're witnessing the after-effects of a cosmic extinction. The evidence splits into three impossible clues. One, the flat, perfect orbit, something that doesn't happen by chance. Two, the green coma, shining with freshly uncovered eyes. Three, the timing, Earth's orbit intersecting swans almost flawlessly, creating a massive, natural experiment. Telescopes around the world have cleared their schedules in anticipation. Every eye is pointed upward. 
Because if Swan truly is a fragment of something massive, the signs will appear quickly. A brief glimmer in the dark sky, a faint ghost, and a tiny meteor shower following behind. Nature seldom arranges coincidences so precisely. Imagine the power required to reshape a comet's orbit, to drag it from the Oort cloud and align it with the planets. Jupiter's immense gravity could do it, but only through a violent encounter. The parent body must have come dangerously close, within reach of tidal forces strong enough to stretch and tear it apart. Solid rock might survive, but comets, porous and fragile, hair like paper, and that could explain the current behavior of Swan. The Tale of Swan Uneven streams of gas An asymmetrical tail A curving body, bleeding, venting, yet not dying. From a cosmic giant's old wounds, it endures. Every glint of light, every erratic burst could be described as the whisper of a previous catastrophe. A different theory suggests something even stranger. Swan's parent might have broken, not recently, but ages ago, slowly, over millennia. Subtle stress, heat, and cold cycling and cracking like breaths of time turning the body inside out? A piece that looks like Swan might have drifted by itself for thousands of years, silently carried forward until Jupiter's gravity gave it one final push. In this version, it's a survivor, not a newborn. A spirit that never discovered it had died. Astronomers look through old data, searching for more like it. Seventeen candidates have been flagged, possibly related siblings carrying the same fingerprints in their orbits. Each could be another fragment of that long-lost parent body dispersed throughout the darkness. However, a different tale emerges, one forged in the heat of the moment. This September, on the 12th, Swan reached its closest approach to the sun, enduring temperatures hot enough to melt metal. Ice trapped for 20,000 years erupted in sudden fury. Its brilliance spiked again and again, each flare a heartbeat from below. Observers saw abrupt jumps rather than gradual increases, as if something had opened. The comet shifted its spin and began to sway slightly. Data from Hawaii and Chile show a 14-second change in its 7.2-hour rotation period, impossible to ignore. Something is happening inside Swan. Something alive and unsteady. Observatories around the world are racing against time. Chile's extremely large telescope captures images every few seconds, stacking hundreds together to reveal ghosts invisible to ordinary cameras. Three tiny candidates, nuclei, have surfaced in the vicinity of Swan's tail, possibly the first signs of ongoing fragmentation. The Subaru telescope monitors shifts in luminosity, while the James Webb Space Telescope focuses on invisible fractures heated from within. Hubble watches too, tracking hydrogen plumes that reveal where water ice evaporates. Together, these telescopes are constructing a three-dimensional autopsy of a dying traveler. Every photon tells a story. Every chemical trace is a clue to what this object once was. And the data is astonishing. Swan's gases are not as they should be, carbon monoxide at twice the normal level, methanol too. Substances that shouldn't cling to the surface are erupting freely, pointing to one thing, the ice here is new. This is the comet's first exposure to sunlight in thousands, possibly millions of years. Its pristine chemistry makes it a window into the birth of our solar system. Each molecule it releases may be older than Earth itself. Every flicker of its green light could carry secrets from before the planets even had names. Gigantic comets like this are more than debris. They are capsules of time. Before Earth existed, before the Sun's final rays formed, they carried the chemistry that made life possible. Amino acids, intricate carbon chains, ancient water. When they break apart, they scatter these seeds across the cosmos, sowing life's potential wherever they go. If Swan is a fragment of something larger, its siblings may still be out there, sharing the same genetic code of creation. As Earth crosses its trail, shards of that ancient chemistry might brush our atmosphere, whispers from the dawn of time. Comets have always been agents of mystery. The great comet of 1106 split into a sun-diving family, fragments that still exist today. Swan may belong to that same lineage, relics of a titan long gone. 
Its 22,000-year orbit means it first emerged when humans painted caves and revered fire. When it returns, we may be the ones wandering among the stars. Until then, it will leave us questions no telescope can fully answer. Why this orbit? Why now? And what if this is not coincidence, but a sign of something greater just beyond our reach? The tale of Swan is not finished. Its green glimmer will fade. Its orbit will stretch outward into the cold, and the universe will swallow it again for another age. But before it vanishes, it may remind us of what we've forgotten. That the solar system is not a quiet, settled place, but a scene of creation and destruction. Each comet is a survivor, a relic of the collisions that shaped the worlds we traverse. Every shard is a voice from before the beginning of time. And this one, this emerald wanderer, is on its path too, guided by perfect randomness, perhaps the loudest of them all. So, keep your eyes on the sky. Stay with us. Because Swan's mystery is only beginning to unfold, and the universe never repeats itself. 